Dad, do you recall when we talked in hypothetical terms about me getting married? Yes. John asked me to marry him just now. Oh, we're so excited for both of you. Congratulations. I believe it was in middle school when my dad told me, Sharon, whenever you get married, I hope that you'll let me wear a dress when I walk you down the aisle. I'm sure that this is probably typical of anybody who's uh, transgender. You have a definite sense that something's not quite right. How come I wasn't born a girl? When you're young, you kind of see your parents as these pillars in your life. I love you, Daddy. And as you get older, you start to see them as people, and you become more curious. One day, Trish said, well, I'm going to step out, and then I'll come back. And Trish came back dressed as a woman. Being transgender is like walking around silently crying unless you have an opportunity to express yourself. You have two young children who are like just growing up and trying to find out who they are. And then you yourself decide, okay, this is my time to figure out who I am too. You went full time when Laura and I were so young and I want to know why. We had arguments. We definitely had a lot of tears. Marsha's going, no, I didn't marry a woman, I married a man. It's an odd psychology, sweetheart. It's always feeling this nagging need to express your femininity. Would you just prefer me to go all the way and say Trish and she and not dad? I, I just, I couldn't see me without Trish. What are y'all doing? I'll never have an opportunity to give birth but I am capable of giving birth to my artwork. Not everything's gonna go as you plan, beginning right on the day of your marriage. You're sort of finding your own way, and I think we still sort of are finding our own way.